If you're going to be doing long exposure seascape photography, the one thing you absolutely must have is a filter system. And in preparation for a trip down the Great Ocean Road, this is like one of the premier landscape seascape photography destinations in the world. I have been trialing a number of filter systems. And this one is the Haida M10 Mark II filter system that's been sent out to me by Haida. Now, there's a few things I've really noticed about this filter system, and it does have a few key advantages over other filter systems on the market. And the first one is how easy it is to come on and off. You have a step-up ring that is specifically designed for this filter system. And the filter system is a 100 millimeter filter system. And then you just get the corresponding step up rings for the filter system itself. And unlike a traditional set of step up rings where you're stepping, 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 and as you add the rings, you actually move the filter further away from the front of the lens. This has a number of dedicated step up rings that you use. So we've got a 100 millimeter filter uh, system or a 100 millimeter square filter on here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna buy the corresponding circular step up ring. So right now I have a 72 millimeter filter uh, thread uh, that I've got this filter system attached to. Uh, also in my bag, I have a 67 and I think I have a 77. And unlike other filter systems, the filter system actually clips on. Like once you have your step up ring on, the actual clip on process is extremely quick and you don't have to further thread the filter on the front by turning and turning and turning. You just clip it on and then there's a little knob to lock it in place. Now this system actually allows you to layer up to four filters in total, including one circular filter and three square 100 millimeter filters. And the circular filter that comes with the system or comes with the kit that I've got is actually a circular polarizer and that sits behind your square filters. And this is perfect for seascape photography or landscape photography. And that just allows me to cut the sun glare off the water. It allows me to give a, get a clear blue sky or cut glare from the sky so we can see the definition between the clouds in the sky. So, in almost all situations in landscape photography, you are going to be using a polarized filter at least now and then. And this one has it, it's just built into the system. It is the first layer of filter. But if you do not want to use that filter, it actually comes with a blank circular filter. So I can actually take this off and I can actually insert an empty circle filter. That way you're shooting through with no filter. You also can add ND filters and a number of other different filters that can be used in that circular position. Now, when it comes to the square filters, by default, it comes with an attachment that goes on the front of the system that actually allows you to double stack and have two square filters. Now, generally what you would be doing is using a sort of an ND filter. I have a 15 stop ND filter. And then in the second one, you would use a graduated ND filter and that would just cut more light from the sky so you get proper exposure between what's in the sky and what's on the ground. By default, it just has the two filter setup clip in the front, but it actually comes with a three filter clip. So if you wanna upgrade and you want three levels of filters, and you might do that at times where you actually have to double stack your ND filters to get that light knocked down enough to get the exposure you want, you can actually swap that out. And that's just as easy as just pressing these things on and off. It is super, super easy to change over. And this layer of filtering up to four filters is the most that I've ever seen in a filter system of this type. And even though I'm just blown away by the quality and the usability of this system, probably the thing that really sticks out to me the most is the quality of the glass and the lack of color cast you get when using this glass. When I was bringing these into Lightroom and when I was bringing these into Capture One, I was finding that I literally did not have to adjust the colors at all. It was spot on and really as accurate as I've ever seen a filter system of this type. And given that I have not only the polarizing filter in line there, I also have a 15 stop ND filter. And the darker those ND filters go, if you're going to get a color cast, that's when you're going to get it. I'm just getting nothing and I am really not having to adjust the white balance or colors at all. I find it's absolutely spot on and I'm just, I'm just doing a slight edit, a slight tweak to those photos and I'm just uploading them straight to Instagram or YouTube or wherever I'm going to use them. Now this is only one of the filter systems that I'm testing. I have a series of filters that I'm going through and I'm going to pick the best one to take on my great ocean road trip. So if you want to find out which filter system wins my great ocean road contest to basically go on the seascape photography trip of a lifetime. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification.